I'm back again with another video. Today I want to share with you top 10 sexy inviting fragrances for men in my collection. My name is Mehdi. If you're first time here, I'm talking about fragrances. If you don't want to lose my new uploads, I upload frequently. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Let's see the fragrances right now. I want to start the list by Ariel Sex Bomb from House of Pokerabon at number 10 spot. One million lucky. This is sweet, gourmand, edible, cozy, inviting, sexy and performer fragrance. Main players are honey, like cinnamon, such as sticky syrupy honey, hazelnut, plum, by something like black tea -ish vibe at the background, way at the background. Which sometimes I can catch it also than Prada Lone. So this fragrance has some hint of freshness at the opening, hint of fruitiness, but it is not dominated and some woodsiness at the dry down. But that woodsiness are not dominated. Uh, then fragrance can stay in the gourmand territory. Some of the fragrances, gourmand fragrances, are more woodsier, for example, at the dry down. Then fragrance automatically comes out of gourmand territory. And this one is not like that. Just woods give to this fragrance a little kick, a little depth. At the opening, it is fresher, slightly, I can say, fruitier. But at the dry down, it is like newly, freshly baked cookies drawer compared to uh, opening but at the both sides opening and dry down this fragrance is very edible mouth watering and gourmand performance is 12 hours plus easily on my skin by very big projection and search but projection is uh, not like nuclear like uh, one million the regular one it's more airy i can say compared to that fragrance not as concentrated as regular one million is projection of this fragrance could be better because this is a sweet fragrance has that potential but still it is enough gets the job done easily one million lucky at number nine spot another sexy lady pleaser inviting fragrance in my collection ladies love this fragrance very much they prefer it over those heavy headers expensive niche stuff even hugo boss the scent private accord it is edible another gourmand fragrance on the list it is sweet like raw chocolate powder plus coffee and some creaminess at the background creaminess in this fragrance is milky we have two kind of creaminess in the fragrance game one is like body lotiony hands creamy like in the blue de chanel one like milky creamy like for example loam by yves and Laurent. here is milky edible type of creamy the atmosphere is at all edible and gourmand performance is uh, five hours maximum i can say barely six hours by soft projection and sillage at the dry down, this fragrance is also woodsier compared to opening, but woods again not that much dominated. Still, will smell edible, gourmand, and projection sillage is not that great. It's like sweets and uh, inviting whiffs. At number eight spots, Ariel Beast, sexy beast, inviting performer, compliment getter, Armani coat, profumo. It is sweet, leathery. I can say to this fragrance, a leather based fragrance or oriental spicy, both categories are true to my nose. I would like a little bit say to this one, leather fragrance, it is sweet, but not mouth watering, not gourmand. I don't believe every sweet fragrance is gourmand. Those mouth watering, those edible, foody, smelling fragrances are gourmand. Too much leather doesn't let to this fragrance to go that much to gourmand territory. Not every sweet fragrance is gourmand. Then Aqua DJ Profondo is also gourmand because it's sweet. No. So, leather, tanka, our main player here. I can catch a little bit cardamom, cinnamon. Very beautiful fragrance. A sticky, a little bit like a drop of the fruitiness at the opening, just at the dry and turns to tanka, amber, like a woodsy, I can say, but more in the leathery side. Woodsy notes are not that main player here. Tanka leather amber for me. So performance is 12 hours plus easily. I can say 14 hours, but I want to say good 12 hours to this one by a very big projection and CH4 to three hours I can get by this one. Very big. From House of Yves and Logan at number seven spot, King Low Multim. I love this fragrance so much. I have better reactions, memories when I refreshing memories. Compliments by this fragrance, even over La Nuit de Lom. For me, it is better. That one is also pleasant, timeless, but I prefer this a little bit better. Imagine Taxido by YSL, or if you haven't smelled that, 
Rochas Mostash, like that fragrance, but in a summery way. It is rosy, gingery, slightly candyish. Sweetness is way at the background. Sweetness is here reduced, but it is touchable. Aquaticness and Ambroxan. Very modern, sexy, rosy, gingery type of fragrance. Performance is good. 8 10 hours. On my skin, I can say solid 8 hours. By big and soft projection. Projection is room filler at first hour, but in a very soft and airy way. Low multi. At number 6 spots from House of Giorgio Armani, absolutely I can say to this fragrance, a masterpiece. Armani Code, absolute. It smells near to Armani Code Profumo, to this one, not that much, not that much near to regular one. I cannot say this one immediately reminds me of the regular Armani Code, but reminds me of this one by a better touch, more polished, more complex. A bit darker compared to this one it is still sweet but compared to profumo it's a bit masculine a bit darker i can say by some hint of niche uh, at the back it smells 30 percent niche this one is absolutely a designer fragrance i love both but the occasions of these two fragrances are different clubbing close encounters date situations both are very inviting performing this one is for me 7 hours, this one 12 hours plus by such a beautiful projection as here, just smells leathery, tankai again by a slightly like some vibes like Herod by Papan Zemali, like tobacco ish something going on here now we are at top 5, again from House of Pakuraban another sexy fragrance, inviting, performing, complimenting there and unique this is very unique smelling type of fragrance, pure excess I prefer over XS Night and Black XS and so on. You can check out my comparison between this and Pure XS Night. Some says this fragrance smells Coca-Cola-ish. At all, I cannot catch that Coca-Cola-ish vibe in this fragrance. It is boozy. Smells like a pencil shaving. Very sweet, slightly powdery. And a lot of Ambraxan, which burns my nose. Smells fuzzy and synthetic somehow, but it is very unique. Pencil shaving vibe, booziness is dominated, atmosphere note accord here. Performance is 10 12 hours plus, easily on the skin by nuclear projection for first 2 3 hours, can I stay on clothing 2 3 weeks. Let's continue by House of Versace at number 4 spot, Versace Prom. It is citrusy, big time, aquatic, by hint of, I can say, sweetness at the background not like invictus sweetness like uh, sweetness in the fruits in the citruses like that very natural it is very bright citrusy sour but like bergamotty sourness not like orange uh, lemon zest it is not it is very soft citrusy type of fragrance at the dry down turns more aquatic at the opening i i can feel this fragrance is uh, for first half an hour one hour like citrusy aquatic at the dry down i cannot catch that much after one and a half hours that citrus is it is like hint of water aquaticness in the air performance is okay a lot says weak i cannot say to this fragrance weak not powerful but this is not weak at all this six hours plus but if you apply on the clothing you can have it 12 hours even can project long time on clothing on the skin maximum you can have two hours two and a half hours projection and longevity five six hours at number three spots a successful fragrance in terms of getting compliments and performance i can say almost this one guarantee complimenting the type of fragrance from house of valentino valentino rumo intense i believe this is highly inspired by line of diorom mostly in the diorom intense side but compared to diorom intense this is very close to each other but this is less spicy i believe and when i refresh my memories i can remember some negative reactions comments by diorum intense which is absolutely hell no we cannot get by this one compared to that one this is less spicy slightly i can catch more some white black chocolate here which is not mentioned i feel just and that spiciness that some oriental vibe is here disappeared reduced you have naked leather iris some gourmand vibes and lipsticky vibe so if you don't like that lipsticky vibe it's not for you it's 
big time and new with naked here available. Performance is 12 hours plus, easily. Big projector, but in a powdery and airy way. At number two spots, again from House of Yves Saint Laurent, another masterpiece. I don't say this phrase to fragrances easily, masterpiece, I don't say to any fragrance that much. This is one of those masterpiece fragrances. I can say one of the best blue fragrances on the market right now. Why Live is also good. I like that one also, but EDP for me. So look at this beautiful effervescent and fizzy opening. It is fizzy, it is citrusy, sour. Ginger, apple, tonka. Okay, this is 30% and 70% is resiny, dark. I really want to say oud, but I don't dare. There is some skankiness, which reminds me of oud. Some oriental vibe is at the dry down. At the dry down, this fragrance is darker. At the opening is dark and fresh. Performance is good. For me, it is enough. Good, solid seven hours. I cannot say to this fragrance, big projector. For first 10 minutes, 20 minutes, it is like room filler. But after that, it is a strong skin scent or one fit maximum, but very sticky and concentrated type of uh, projection very noticeable I have three fragrances but one is winner of today stronger with you freeze Acodigio Profonda why I show them because these are new I am researching to find new things but it is impossible guys sometimes these are new releases but not every new release is successful I can say these are not successful to my nose they cannot even be here as an honorable mention no Winner of today, Rasasi Havas, 2015. Still, it's very difficult to win this fragrance. New reasons cannot do it. Rasasi Havas is sweet, aquatic, fruity fragrance. I cannot say to this citrusy, but it is hint of citruses plus fruits like apple and spicy cardamom, ambergris and musk at the Dryden. But musk is dominated. Musk is projecting big time at the Dryden. Performance is fantastic, 12 hours plus. Why such a huge projection for first 3-4 hours? Rasasi Havas, hands down. Don't forget to subscribe the channel if you have any opinion, suggestion, question. Let me know in the comments below. I will answer you. See you in another video.